local government. And what the state does is also kicks in on a one-to-one -one on that. So it definitely is a benefit to our, histori our uh, historical commission. And, and take in uh, consideration that our township has a prestige greater than any other township in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We are one of the three oldest townships in the Commonwealth. We were a township before we were a nation in 1681. And we have given uh, the Historical Society and the Historical Commission um, the opportunity to preserve our heritage and the, hist the great history of Hyrupper Township. You'd be surprised what has happened in this township and what we have. And this will give them the resources to, to, to preserve just that. I, I recommend this completely. Okay. Any questions? Here, here. Commissioner Connell, will it will they restrict us in any way, shape, or form, or what what is the relationship other than beneficiary? Is there any detriment to it? Is there anything that causes us to have restrictions? Maybe Ms. Ms. Maddox uh, there aren't can any answer that. that um, to to building or any of that? No. 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 Mm -mm. No. It's not set up like the um, National. Um, That's my question. Yes, it's not set up to that. If you're going to reconstruct your home or something, no one's coming in to say, to tell you uh, how you have to apply certain um, painting, certain type of paint or anything right. like that. No. And what are the eight points that you were uh, they speaking? Have, well, actually, they right here. I'm happy to uh, show them to you. Just thought maybe you could go over it briefly. Certainly, they maintain an update historic resource survey and inventory for historic resources, mm -hmm. uh, which also through architectural, historical, and uh, archaeological surveys, uh, which gives them the ability to absolutely look in detail on this issue. They uh, conduct research on the uh, and nominate potential historic resources. They advise the, uh, the zoning hearing officer and the board of commissioners on the uh, issuance of uh, demolition permits. So someone who's going to demolish a building or renovate a building of uh, historical significance, they let us know about it. And they advise us on what action we could take. Uh, recommendations to correct, uh, um, corrections to the historical resource, resource survey. And uh, they advise us on all applications or s on subdivisions, land developments, uh, zoning, and uh, other approvals that affect the historical significance of the township, the resources of the township. Do you believe that, uh, do they have any uh, sort of guidelines in terms of our particular historical commission? Number, yeah, we, we number of people, you know, decisions, so on and so forth. They don't have any influence so to speak they're purely beneficial correct yes, right, yes. Okay. and do they provide uh, would they in any way shape or form provide any hindrance to our zoning board a hindrance to the zoning board no because they're uh well they're advisory right and we also have there are uh stacy on um on certain um issues uh, are you asking a, such as? It's advisory only. That's my, my question. It's advisory only. Okay. There's okay. nothing that they would come in and say that uh, we could not do. Okay. Thank you. Like the... Um, federal. Like federal, but also like our um, zoning hearing board. Zoning hearing board, right. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? All right. Who seconded that? Um, Commissioner McGarity. Okay, Commissioner McGarry second in that. Okay. Please call the roll. Mr. D'Amelio. Yes. Mrs. Hall. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. Holmes. Yes. Mr. McGarrity. Yes. Mr. Connell. Yes. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Mr. Heilman. Yes. And Mr. Lou. <clears throat> Yes. How about Mr. Wexler? Mr. Wexler. Uh, sorry, Bill. I was voting for you. <laughs> yes. Mr. Wexler. Stacey and Matt, I want to thank you very much because I know this was a, an awful lot of work that you did uh, yeah, over, over the time. So good job for you for <laughs> opening up opportunities. And, <laughs> and this little girl helped you, am I right? 
<laughs> you can see, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's the workhorse, right? All right, uh, number 15, contract awards. Oh, that would be me. Yeah. Commissioner Hobb. Okay, 87 octane gas and fuel oil. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to recommend the rejection of the 2014 87 octane gas and fuel oil contract bids, which came in over budget. Second. Do you want to explain that, Larry? Yeah, yeah we actually, just like any other bid, uh, we reserve and we put in the, our bids that we reserve the right to reject any bids um, for the best of the township. And so our bids came in not to our liking. And this year, we felt that we would, uh, it was more cost effective for our township for gas and oil to go with uh, CoStar. Co okay. 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 All right. Please call the roll. Mr. D'Amelio? He stepped out. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarity? Yes. Mr. Connell? Yes. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Uh, Mr. Holloman? Yes. And Mr. Oliva? Yes. I would like to make a motion to authorize the purchase of gasoline or the CoStars program from Superior Plus Energy Services Incorporated, Opus Philadelphia Average Plus .0753. Uh, set of minus letter, minus the split deliveries between the police and public works department, plus the point uh, one eight one one cents for single deliveries to each location under five thousand gallons. Yeah. It's a hyphen, not a, a hyphen. A hyphen, is it? Okay, I wasn't sure. Okay, heating oil from Superior Plus Energy Services Incorporated, Opus Philadelphia Average Plus uh, uh, two, 0.2377 cents, also under the CoStars program. 23.7 cents. Sorry, 23.77 cents, sorry. Under the CoStars program. Second. Question made and seconded. Mr. President, I'd like to just announce I'm, I'm going to abstain from this vote out of an abundance of caution. I have a professional services contract with that vendor for telecommunications equipment in this region, so I almost take on the role of an employee for them at certain times uh, for maintenance and contracts. So I'll just, okay. out of an abundance of caution, I will not vote on it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Please call the roll. Okay, uh, Mr. D'Amelio is still out of the room. Uh, Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarity? Yes. Mr. Connell? Yes. And Mr. Wexler, you're going to abstain. Uh, Mr. Heilman? Yes. And Mr. Oliva? Yes. Number 16, appointments. Ice Frank Advisory, three year term. And Mr. President? Commissioner Connell. Okay, to the three year term. Okay, I would like to make a motion to reappoint Joe Arazi. Uh, to serve on the Scadium Ice Rink Advisory Board for a term of three years to expire on December 31st, 2016. Mm -hmm. Second. Motion made and seconded. Please call the roll. Mr. D'Amelio is still out. Uh, Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarry? Yes. Mr. Connell? Yes. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Heilman? Yes. And Mr. Oliva? Yes. Mr. President. Commissioner Connell. I'd like to make uh, a motion to appoint uh, Tamara Najjar to fill the unexpired three-year term on the ICE, uh, on the Skadium Advisory Board to expire December 31st, 2015. Can you spell that last name? Yeah, N-E-D-J-A-R. -N I got that one. N-E-D-J-A-R. Yeah, I did too. It's on the resume, isn't it? Get a second on that, I'm sorry. Not yet. Second. Yep. Question made and seconded. <coughs> Please call the roll. Okay. Mr. D'Amelio is still out. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Siegel? <coughs> yes. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. McGarry? Well, this is Mr. Holmes' neighbor, but I'll vote yes. <laughs> uh, Mr. Kahn? Yes. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Just a demographic problem yes. on their part. Mr. Oliva? Yes. Okay, back to, to resolution number 10. Can you believe it? I used to live next to the library. 
That, hold, 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 hold on one second. If anybody wants to leave, can leave. Anybody wants to stay? Thank you. you. If you would like to leave, water. You, you can go ahead. Two minute break. Yeah. Oh, please don't. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to take like a two minute break so we get Steve back and anybody who wants to go can, can go ahead and leave. We'll be right back and then we'll start with, uh, with number 10, which would be the library. Back. Okay. We have, we're ready, Bob? You good? Okay. Good. All right, we will begin with um, resolution number 1925-2014. Does somebody want to read it? No. No one's reading it. Nope. I'm not sure who's going to read it. Okay. Well, I, don't, I, I didn't. I can propose it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we have to read the whole resolution. Are we? But are we, do we have no, to no, we just read what, what's yeah. here, right? Thank you. One second. Don't want to bring it up. Sorry. Uh, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, go ahead. You read. Larry. What do we got? A motion to adopt. Number 10. Resolution number 1925-2014. Would you like to read that? Uh, yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, <laughs> love him. <laughs> <coughs> Keeping us in suspense. No, no, I assume my computer's misbehaving. <coughs> there you are. The parent is not to be read. 25. Um, <laughs> Mr. President, I, uh, I move for us to consider uh, adopting one uh, of two, um, uh, adopting the following resolution. Uh, resolution 1925-2014. Uh, that the Board of Commissioners of Haverford Township hereby <coughs> determines that it will pursue funding for the inclusion of the Haverford Township Free Library in the planned Municipal Services Building and directs the Property Committee to take such steps as necessary to effectuate this resolution. Uh, do I need to read the resolution from start to finish? I don't believe so. I would say or, too. Right? Yeah, there's an or there here. Or. Well, those are the alternative resolutions. Yeah, those are the alternative resolutions. Yeah. So well, I think uh, you have one to read out both. on there for discussion. You have to read both or. in order to discuss it. It's all one. Uh, okay. Or um, one, and then we it's all one resolution. That's right. two alternative options. I, I understand, but it's all one resolution. However, so we want to do it. We just need to get it on the discussion. Me, um, put it, both options I, on the floor. I think both you need options. to put both let options me withdraw on the floor. my. Okay. Let me withdraw what I just moved and 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 re move, if I may. Um, Mr. President, I, I move we adopt a resolution that will ultimately be numbered 1925-2014. Uh, and that resolution is to address uh, the issues that have been raised by the Property Committee uh, with regard to a planned municipal services building. And that resolution contains uh, two options. One option is to build uh, the municipal services building uh, and to consider in, in, the, uh, in the construction of that building um, putting the police, uh, the administration, and the library all into one building. Yeah. And another option to consider in that resolution uh, is to leave the uh, Haverford Township Free Library in its current location um, and direct the property uh, committee to um, uh, investigate the uh, construction of a municipal services building uh, that addresses the police and the administration. Uh, rather than reading two separate options, I would just suggest uh, that somebody move uh, somebody second my my form of resolution so that we can start discussion. Second. Okay. Uh, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. <coughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. President, I would like to offer uh, resolution number 1929-2014 as another option or another option, whereas the Board of Commissioners require additional information to properly judge the adequacies, pros and cons, financial considerations for the proposed new police station, new or renovated administration building, and new or renovated library. And whereas the current property committee presentations do not completely and adequately, adequately address either the consolidated program nor a wider range of possible alternates and have inherent inconsistencies, making it difficult to suitably judge the alternates. And there are, whereas there are many public citizen questions that need to be addressed before any decision can be made. 
and now therefore be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners, the Township of Haverford, hereby directs the Township Manager and his staff to commission a new and complete feasibility study by a qualified architect, engineer, planner firm to address alternate des design program possibilities such as a combined police municipal library building, a single police building, and renovated library administration building, a combined police and library building, and other alter, uh, alternatives as may be appropriate or requested in order to examine a wider range of possibilities. The study shall include for each alternate general program area, summaries for each component, size utilization design plan sketches, approximate parking analysis and layouts, general financial cost and considerations, and, and general traffic issues and recommended strategies. Thank you. Okay, now, so, uh, this would well, be a, a can you third? Well, have, have the second. Okay, second. Second. Okay. second. Uh, hold on. Okay. This would be considered a third option. Yeah. Uh, would you yeah. Fine. So we can I mean, begin. I, right. To okay. be clear. So now I, we can I, begin discussion, yeah. and this would be a yeah, third and, option and, to this. <clears throat> right, but people should, uh, the public should realize that these aren't, the only three options, Correct. meaning that as we discuss, I mean, this is the first time we're getting a chance really to address some of the issues that have been raised, fix some of the misinformation that's out there, uh, maybe address some of the, you know, some of the facts that have gotten, um, that have been out there as facts and aren't necessarily facts, and, and, and kind of redefine the issue that's in front of us. So I just, there's just a couple things I want to do preliminarily, and I, I can assure you this isn't all I'm going to have to say on the topic. Um, but, the, but this is a very important topic that I have to raise at first. The notion that any member of this board has somehow in their advocacy for these plans um, has somehow rendered themselves uh, uh, conflicted from being able to vote on this is, is really preposterous. I mean, it is why we have a property committee is for these people to examine uh, the, the different options and then advocate to us as a board their suggestion as to how they do it. Um, and certainly as, as people listen to information and either change their minds or become more entrenched in their positions, that is frankly what we expect commissioners to do. So uh, I just, nobody has suggested that I have to recuse myself, but two of my colleagues, it has been suggested that they have somehow rendered themselves incapable um, of analyzing this issue or voting appropriately. Uh, you're, the on one this issue. you're the one who wants to build on the moon, too. And I, I build anywhere. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I just want to make very clear from the outset the, the notion, the moon, I believe. The yeah. notion that any commissioner, be it Commissioner Hall, Commissioner Siegel, uh, Commissioner McGarrity, anybody who's taken strong positions on these conversations as we've had them, has somehow rendered themselves. Uh, uh, inappropriate to take the next steps, I think is, is just is very wrong, and I would, I would simply ask the solicitor not to opine on it, but just to tell me uh, if that's incorrect and if in her impression she thinks anybody on this board has to step down um, from consideration. Um, and the second issue I'll, I'll raise is this, just as a preliminary talking point about a library. Um, I spent all day Saturday negotiating a new car. I'm buying a GMC Acadia, a nice American car. I have four children, a lot of people know that. Um, at no time did I consider that buying a 1973 wood paneled station wagon and having airbags, a navigation system, an entertainment system, and something like that put into the car to suggest it would then be as safe or as smart or as intelligent a choice as a 2014 SUV would be for my family. The notion that the library in its current place, with its current parking, with its current restrictions and its inability to be expanded, with the notion that really it is all but impossible for us to upgrade that with the electrical, uh, with the <coughs> IT and with the other capabilities that need to be done. And with the latest news today, that one of the water problems is in fact a result of an underground spring that we don't seem to be able to do anything about at the corner of Mill and Darby. Uh, just militates very strongly for the notion that it's time for us to treat our 21st century needs uh, of a library with the 21st century assets. 
Um, I'm in my third term on this board. And in my first term, we really concentrated on the process of how we did things here. We dramatically changed how we did things as a township. We started to do work sessions. We did much more, many more things in public. We've had many more public meetings. In the second term, we did a lot with our personnel. We have an excellent township manager. We have assistant township managers. Every opportunity we've gotten to upgrade our people to do to provide the services to this township in the best possible way. We've taken full advantage of that. So now we have a third opportunity in my third term, and that is to do something about the property, do something about the physical plant that we need to use to provide these services to these folks. So there's been a great deal of concentration on the library, but there's been some discussion as well as to whether the administration needs to move, whether the police are fine where they are, whether or not the library is in, ad in an adequate place. Um, it, the township, the township personnel, every day we try to extract more services out of fewer of them. Every day. Every year we tell our township manager, find where we can cut, find where we can, we can squeeze more services out of folks. And the idea that we're going to keep doing that and keep having them work in 19th century settings is ridiculous. Um, our police have been working out of a glorified trailer for a long time. It's obviously very important to the people in this township um, that, we, that we have a very effective police department. We have spared no expense in providing the police department with all the tools they need uh, to provide for the health, safety, and welfare of the citizens. I don't know why we wouldn't take advantage now to improve the setting in which they work. And of course, I've already said what I think about the library in terms of it is time, regardless of what the building looked like, how much people in that neighborhood like having the building there. The fact is it cannot, in its current place and in its current configuration, provide for the 21st century needs that people have from a 21st century library. So um, that is all I have to say for now, but I, I can assure you it's not the last that I have to say, but I certainly yield the floor back to you, okay. Mr. President. Okay, yes. one second. Let's have the solicitor, would you? I, I do not see any commissioner's involvement on a subcommittee of this commission in an advisory role as a need to to create a conflict of interest that would cause them to need to recuse themselves from any vote. Okay, thank you. Thank now, you Commissioner Garrity, you have the floor. Thank okay, you. well, let me, read, uh, let me read this. I don't know how we went from a library request in November for a half a million dollars, 500000 matching grant money for upgrades to mechanical, electrical, and plumbing to $5.5 million to fix the per, uh, current location or to totally renovate or to build a new, brand new, state-of-the-art library for $9 million or more. In addition, the cost of the police administration building. Without the library, we are talking about a $45 tax increase uh, on a $350 home. And not only that, but just two days after we had the last meeting, it came into the newspaper with, and this is from the News of Delaware County about your school taxes, with the average residential property assessed valued at $162,858, the average residential property tax increase will be $162 come this June. That's what you're going to pay in addition. So now you have the $45 here year after year, and then you have that additional one. Plus, we don't know what schools they're going to build to cause more increase in taxes. Okay, of course, we would all love to have a new library. However, the Veterans Field location is already a high traffic area where the Wawa and the stadium, the police station, three ball fields, a football field, and two major crossroads. There is not enough space in that location to handle high volume municipal buildings as well as recreation facilities that are located on this property. The township cannot afford to risk even the loss of one inch of recreational space. Plus, we may be creating another YMCA situation, which is in a total chaos now, up at the other end of my ward. And Larry and uh, Dan Sigel should know because he's on the other side across the street from Lawrence Road. And they don't even have enough parking there. And that's a big, major problem. Uh, the present location of the library is in a perfect location for the middle school students and the high school students. It is an historic building and a beautiful building. If the library moves out of the building, then what? We would have the expense of spending more money 
to order to sell it, even though if we sold it, which we won't have a right to do because once we move out of there, it goes back to the library board, they'll sell it and they'll get the money. We won't get any money out of it. The project should not be rushed. The township has spent a year or more working on the proposed police station building. It makes absolutely no sense to throw a library into a mix at the last minute. The board needs more information. The board has not done their due diligence that the taxpayers of Haverford Township deserve. I think we should slow down and support this resolution 1929. Also, I just want to state that all coming into play in here will be the fact that we don't know where the recycling center is going. We do know that they're going to make a trail up to the YMCA, and I do know that a lot of people are going to park their cars down there, especially younger people, and walk up to the Y. This is going to create at least another 50 or 60 spots that we'll need down there, which we don't presently have. Right now, as we speak, they're about 38 spots short, not counting the 50 I'm talking about. Uh, and basically, uh, it's, it's just, it's going to be just total chaos at the police station. You're going to have these children going upstairs above the police station to a library that makes no sense at all. And as a commissioner of the 7th Ward, and the library's in my ward in, at Mill and Darby, it's in my ward at the police station. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I represent the people of the 7th Ward. And at these last three meetings that we've had, the people have spoken. The one at the high school, there was 13 that spoke against changing the library down to the police station. And at the meeting tonight, they all spoke against it. The people have called me up, especially the senior citizens. They don't want it moved, and they can't afford the tax increases. So let's use common sense. And what Terry uh, Lizzie said made a lot of sense. I myself will resign from the property committee and put an architect who is qualified on that committee, and I would hope the other three commissioners would do that also. Yeah, it has to be, it's a commissioner committee. Huh? It's a commissioner committee. Uh, well, we'll good. have to change it then, because we should get people that are qualified know what they're talking about. That's all part the of the that, subcommittee. Jim, that's, if you resign one second, and we one, get a one second, like, who's one second please. Um, we, we have a committee, a steering committee, which is made up of, of those, of architects and different people who are, who are well, on those committees. How about if a commissioner picks a person that is qualified, such as an architect or somebody like that, or somebody in construction or planning? Or we have plenty of people on our planning board, zoning board, that know all about these things we're talking about. And truthfully speaking, I, for one, when you get to talking about all these things that Gary Bogosian talked about, he knows what he's talking about, but I don't. I'll be honest with you. I do know common sense tells me that that will become a disaster down at the police station if they put this down there. Okay, thank you. Anybody? Yes. Dan? Okay. Go ahead. You have the floor. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Please. Okay. I've waited a long time to really address the issues because I've spoken only as chair of the property committee. And I just want to make two comments with regard to the property committee. Then I'm going to address my perspective on this issue. First, as I have said, and the property committee is willing to proceed regardless of how this board votes, whether they vote to include the library or not, our role at that time is to follow the board's directive. That said, we have, in fact, had a subcommittee composed of architects, including at one time Mr. Bogosian, who chose to resign from the committee, others, including engineers, members of the Planning Commission, and others in the township who have been consulting with us. I've also made it quite clear that every project, including this one, has a cost, and that if the costs become excessive, I wouldn't support it any more than I would support any other expenditure in this township, because we do have to deal with that. With regard to the issue of impartiality, every member of this board brings a bias to the board. We all do. We're, we have our own predispositions and we have our own goals. And we come to this board with two mandates. One is to represent the residents of our ward and of the township, and the other is to do what we believe is best for this township. Uh, and sometimes they may actually be different because what is best for one ward may not actually be best for what's the township. That's why 
why we're elected. That's how I perceive my role. I'm also pleased that throughout this debate, we have been able to disagree and do it appropriately and without resorting to comments and claims that people on this board have lied or misstated things. We have disagreements. I disagree with certain issues with Commissioner McGarrity. I respect his opinions. I don't believe that what he is saying is untrue. And candidly, I take significant umbrage at people who make that claim with regard to me. I have always said people are free to disagree with me, and I disagree with my colleagues, and then we move on. With that re in regard, I do want to address where we are with the library and where my position is. First, we had set up the multiple public meetings as an effort to get public comment. We have received extensive public comment. That has been good. It has also, in retrospect, been somewhat bad because it has created perceptions and misperceptions. The public comment has created an impression that the board and or the property committee did not have answers. And while we don't have answers to every question, no one does, we elected to defer answers and explanations until tonight. And that's what I intend to do now. I believe that we need to move forward. That said, what the property committee has been requesting has not been to specifically include the library, including in the resolution that Commissioner Holmes read. The goal is to determine if it is feasible financially and otherwise to do so. And if it is, then we would come back in the same method that this board did with the rec center and make the recommendations in that same process. We have not said, have never said, that what we do tonight or what we vote on will absolutely commit ourselves because we may discover that certain aspects of the project are not financially feasible. And if that's the case, then we cannot move forward. That said, I want to discuss the library and where I stand. First, I believe that a library is a vital part of our community, just as every other aspect of the community is. We have invested a lot of money in our parks, in our facilities, in the rec center, and all of those are important. But a library is very important to a community just as fields are. And it is a reason that many people choose to move to a community. It is a reason that people may elect to move here if we have a first class library rather than to Newtown Square or to Lower Marion, which invested $20 million in their libraries, $9 million in Ludington, the largest circulation library in Montgomery County. There's a reason they did. And we're not suggesting, the property committee, that this township should invest $20 million in the library. We're suggesting, not 28 or $30 million, those numbers are not accurate. We are suggesting that if this proposal, as proposed, would go, it would cost approximately $18 million to have a combined municipal services, police administration, and library facility. Those are the numbers that we have put out. Those are the numbers that we believe are accurate. But a library is quality of life, and it does affect our property values. If we don't have a quality library, and our library does a wonderful job, as one resident said, with fifth class facilities. We are the largest circulation library in Delaware County, but we could do far more with better facilities. And we can do that for a variety of ways. But we also have to balance the positives and negatives. I agree that the current location of the library is, in fact, in, all, in an ideal world, the best location. However, it isn't the best location because of the parking situation. I regularly hear from residents in the Fourth Ward that they don't use the library because they can't park there, particularly the elderly or parents with little children. That is a factor, that people do not use our library simply because they can't access it. And it is something we need to deal with because while fields are excellent for our youth, and the stadium is excellent for our youth and others, we also have to consider the needs of the elderly and everyone else so that we provide in this township for all citizens, not just one group. And the statement that fields will be touched, every diagram that we have shown, every schematic establishes that fields will not be touched. I have said that, I have said it again, and there is absolutely nothing out there that shows to the contrary. 
but we have to evaluate at this point why we are moving or we are proposing moving the library. One is parking. The second is that we have studied this issue, not since October. October is when we presented the issue to the full board. The library became a significant different issue in May of 2013 when the library came to us and explained their significant infrastructure needs that had grown dramatically or had worsened dramatically. At that point, the property committee began examining the library. We didn't make a public presentation until October. And when we examined the library, we realized that the situation, it was responsible, whether or not people this board votes to do something about it, but it was the responsible choice for this committee to examine the condition of the library. And the analogy that we have to look at as a board and as a community is what is happening where I grew up in Cheltenham Township, which has traditionally one of the finest school districts in this region. But what has happened in Cheltenham Township with Cedarbrook Middle School is what is happening in this township with our infrastructure. If you have not read about it, Cedarbrook Middle School, which isn't old, or maybe it is, I was the first class to go through it for three years, so depending on how old I perceived, is now, yeah, is being closed because the school district did not maintain the building. It got mold, water damage, and now is in an emergency situation where students in Cheltenham are going to be bussed out of the township and have to go to class in a closed Pathmark supermarket. We could probably do the same here because we have the same situation with a closed Pathmark. But that's the problem. As Commissioner Holmes has said, this township has disregarded our property. That's been the, the, the comments of the property committee from day one. And we have at least finally addressed the public works yard. We have to address the issues with the township building and the police station and now the library. This is not something that a Band-Aid will work anymore. And I invite any resident who doesn't has not seen the conditions in the police station to come. The police will be happy to show you the conditions. These are not things that can be fixed. The situation there is dire. When we brought in the consultants the, the, who came and saw the conditions of the library, they not the library, excuse me, the police station, they were astounded at how bad they had gotten. And it has been the consensus of this board for quite some time that the police station and the municipal building need to are in such a condition that the majority of this board has supported making those changes. A couple other issues with regard to the library and why it's so important. <clears throat> I, there are first, there are no land acquisition costs. We are not acquiring land. That was a decision that the property committee made because land acquisition costs would have increased the cost of the project significantly. We are not acquiring the Wawa, as has been said. We don't need to. We are instead hoping that this will project would move along in the same way that the rec center did. And you have to remember that when we proposed the rec center, it was a design that was supposed to sit flat on a slab. Well, when the architects were vetted by the committee, they discovered that there were better designs, in including the one that we have now, which is uh, a distinctive design that has gotten us a lot of acclaim. Right now, when we had an original proposed design of the police and administration building prepared by Mr. Bogosian, it was a nice design. When we brought in an additional architect, who he came up with an alternate design. And what we have presented to the public is a concept at this point. That's why we bring in professional architects who, as the project proceeds, would give us recommendations. They may suggest that the library belong in a different location or it may work differently. We have consulted with Chris Galman, who is a member of the Planning Commission, who has vetted the information that we have provided. We've also discussed the Property Committee. Unfortunately, Commissioner McGarrity absented himself from our last few meetings with Lee Casaccio, the architect who the library retained, who has said that the proposed plans for the library in its current location would fit and would actually work better in a new facility because it would not have the 
infrastructure issues that hamper the current library. A new facility would also mean that we maintain one set of utilities from electric, plumbing, and everything else, consolidating our costs and making it more economical than running multiple facilities because as much as you can renovate an old building, there are limits to what can be done. So the property committee took those issues and that's part of the reason that we believe that this is so important. The other th issues that have been raised, and we raised when we had our initial meetings with the library and, and the librarian, one was with the deed of the library. And yes, it is correct that under the terms of the deed, the property would in theory go back to the library board if it were no longer a library. And we've made it clear that as part of what we propose as a property committee, that the library would in turn, because we would be significantly funding this project, turn that deed over the township so that we could recoup a significant portion of our costs. Uh, yes, we have an estimate of 1.2 million as the value of the property. We've said, and I said, that we don't believe that the property could, re could get that value, but it would still have a value on the market and hopefully be turned into taxable, income-producing property for this township. I also want to address the issue of parking. The current library has 17 parking spots and one handicap spot. The proposal to put parking on Mill Road, we have been told by the police, is not feasible and it would require PennDOT approval and the thought of having people pulling out of parking spots adjacent to the corner of Mill and Darby is scary. That said, we currently have 159 existing parking spaces at the Skadium and police area. If the building would be as proposed, we would have 356 spots. That would be 356 spots for two additional services, township services and the library. Township services run during the week. The administration building is empty on the weekend. Buildings are used at different times. While it is not exactly ideal because the more spots you have, the better, we have been told by Chris Galman, the architect who did that study, that he believes it would be adequate parking for that. Yes, there may be days when it might not be, but that's any facility. Any facility does not plan for the worst. You don't build parking spots at King of Prussia Mall based on Black Friday. You build them based on what is commonly used. And that's what this committee has done. So that we are considering all of those. Is it perfect? No one can tell you that. Because, for example, Commissioner McGarrity mentioned the why. I was the only commissioner, excuse me, Commissioner Heilman and I were the only commissioners at the Planning Commission when the why gave its traffic and its parking proposals. No other commissioner was at that. And if we hadn't spoken up, there wouldn't be the post-studies post that are going to be done in April that I hope will alleviate some of the problems that have made Eagle Road an absolute nightmare since the why opened. Uh, but we were there advocating for it because we realized at that point. I want to address a couple other issues as to why I think the library should be included or at least considered in the building depending on the finances. One is we've heard questions about public safety, children, and the library. First, the police would have a dedicated back entrance that is separate from the public. Second, there are no incidents reported anywhere of libraries where adjacent to police stations where there have been incidents involving criminals. We have a library adjacent to the police station in Marple. There is a library adjacent to the police station in Willa Grove. There is a library across the street from the police station in Elkins Park. There are multiple examples of libraries adjacent to or combining with police stations. It is, a, it is a public area. It is safe. And with regard to the issue of whether the library is better because it's closer to schools and people concerned that kids won't walk to the library, I suggest you go to Wawa any afternoon after school and you will see that students are not opposed to walking to Wawa, which is where the library would be. And so would Wawa since we are not acquiring that land. We have also factored in costs in our estimates for the other f items in there. And the numbers that we have given are not out of space. I didn't come up with those numbers any more than any other member of the property committee. Those numbers were obtained through the township staff by speaking with the construction manager who built the quarry center.
who gave us estimates based on significantly high-end costs. Because the last thing I want to see of any project that the property committee uh, in, is involved in is a cost overrun. We are, I'm thrilled that we had a, a construction manager and the rec center came in on budget. We need to do the same thing. We have to be responsible. And that goes back to the library and my views, and I'm about to sum up since I'm sure this is the longest I have ever spoken at one of these meetings. Um, or anyone, in, by the 20 meetings. <laughs> Okay. I, I, uh, well, Mr. By that. Yeah, well, I knew way. Mr. Hunt. I mean, yeah. You know, but, um, but but I really believe that this issue of the library and what we determine in the library is, if not the most important, one of the most important, if not the defining vote that this board will take because it has so many implications. It doesn't mean that tonight we're voting to, to build a library with the municipal services. We are asking this board as a property committee to give us the ability to go out and determine whether financially it is feasible and functionally appropriate. We've already met with the architects. The implication that we haven't is simply not true. We've met with multiple architects, multiple design people, um, and come up with our proposals. Uh, I wouldn't be qualified to provide most of the information that's in there. I'm a lawyer. I'm not an architect, and I've always known you hire the proper people. And Mr. Galman, Mr. Casaccio, and others are qualified. Mr. Casaccio did the library's uh, own study. Chris Galman is a member of our planning commission and is highly respected. They've told us that this project can work. The next step is determining if it can work financially. Libraries are important. They are part of our intellectual life. They are an intellectual center in this township and I value that every bit as much as I value physical uh, well-being. We need to nurture all of those areas. I simply don't think that in its current location, despite a superb staff and doing as much as they can, that the library can reach its potential when it limits itself and makes it so that seniors, parents, and others simply can't use it. If we're circulating 38,000 items now, and we know that residents of Commissioner Hall's, Commissioner <coughs> Heilman's, my ward, and others go to Ludington, because it's convenient, large, and beautiful. We need to say to those residents, you're paying your taxes in Haverford. You need to come back and use our facilities. That way, you know you're getting your value out of our taxes. We deliver a lot of services. We owe it to all of our residents to deliver as much as we can. Is this going to be perfect? No one knows the answer. But if we stay where we are and don't move forward with a municipal building, a police station, and investigate what is best for the library, this board is not being responsible. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, Mario. Um, Commissioner, you have the floor. Okay. Uh, speaking as the commissioner with the lowest percentage of uh, library card holders, I believe I've been yelled at a few times by uh, all the way back to Addie and Christine, uh, my my people use Ludington Library regularly. I, I'll admit I use Ludington Library too. Uh, I do use ours, but I use Ludington. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, Don't feel alone. <laughs> <laughs> there's uh, Larry Holmes's card too. Uh, but anyway, bottom line is um, for 31 years I bid projects at my family business and we bid we bid jobs and they were broken down any way that the the owner or municipality or whoever was building the building wanted it done my what I would like to see done is I would like to see us have plans drawn up final plans drawn up on a couple different things I would like to see a base bid of two floors for the police and the township building I would like to see an alternate for another floor of the library. Um, it doesn't mean that the library has to be on the top floor. The library could be on the second. The only requirement would be the police have to be on the bottom floor. Uh, they need the separate entrance. The notion, uh, as Dan said, I crossed it out because Dan said it already, the notion that there's anything unsafe about 
the children going to a library with a police station is is ridiculous uh, as far as I can see. Um, so I would also like to see a bid to renovate, uh, you know, final drawings be drawn up to renovate everything that has to be done at the current library so that we can have all the numbers in front of us. We can have the, the numbers for the, the police building, which has to be done. There is no doubt, and, and I agree. I actually suggested uh, a few years ago that we actually send a film crew into the police station to film it. And I was told the only reason they wouldn't do it is they were worried that Joe Celia would see it and go in and shut down the police station for not being up to codes. It is a disgrace. The only way to get from the upstairs to the downstairs is by a spiral staircase. No elevator no ADA compliance, or you get to walk out, and in this winter, you can picture what that was like, walk out and go around. It's, it's disgraceful that a township of our size, first class township, that's the condition of the police station. Um, so I would like to see the two floors bid police township and the, the other floor for the library. Okay, as I said, the library doesn't have to be on the top floor. That's also false. The township could be on the top floor. As it is now, most of the township services, other than Amy, are up on the top floor. It, so it can be done. So then the other bid would be an alternate for the library going both ways. Uh, alternate one would be for the extra floor. Alternate two would be to renovate with complete drawings, everything that has to be done at the library to bring it up to snuff uh, for uh, internet, for electrical, for plumbing, for mechanical, everything, um, including finding more parking. Um, uh, Mr. Breslin, you would mention the house next door being for sale. I did a search on the MLS. There's no houses over there for sale right now, currently. Um, if it is, well, okay, but it's not now. <laughs> so. So, but anyway, um, so, but there has to be other options. There has to be other options to look into for parking. Um, currently, my position as somebody whose people don't use it would be for it to stay in the current location. It's the cheapest way to do it, and, you know, that's how I feel. But uh, that being said, I want to have all the numbers in front of me to do the proper analysis and to know what the numbers are. Um, as I said, I'd like to see the film. Them film the police, township.